Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem four in chapter twenty three. Chapter twenty three is about electric potential. So there we can see we have a negative charge, negative particle, with the negative charge we write it as there, and then we know the external force act a work on this uh, particle, right? The work is given. We write it as there, and from position A to position B. And it also tell us initially it's stationary. The speed is zero. The initial kinetic energy is zero, and finally it has the kinetic energy k. So we write it as zero. Now ask you what must be the potential difference between a and b. So how can we do that? We can consider in this case tell you the work and tell you the kinetic energy at initial and final. So very. Straightforward. We can consider the work energy principle. Agree? Yes. In the work energy principle, we can see the work done on this particle equal to kinetic energy change, right? Yes. And you can see k is given, k naught is given, w is given. It looks like we need to find the electric w because this work done on this particle is by Has two part. First part is by this external force. The second second part is electric force, right? So electric force, this electric work done is just equal to the change of the electric energy, right? The negative of the change of the electric energy, and this electric energy can write as the Q times delta V. Agree? Yes. So in this case, we input this.、Uh, Electric work inside as the negative Q times delta V equal to K, because K naught is zero. So from this one comes to zero one. This one we just replace the W electric as negative Q delta V, and in this、uh, equation we can get a function for delta V. In this、uh, function you can see K is given, W is given, Q is given. So you input a known quantity, get the answer is there. Thank you.